Okay, so what you're looking at in front of you is a Dell Latitude D630. Spec-wise, I don't remember what's in it. But what really matters right now is that this thing is running a mechanical hard drive. And it's also running a much older version of the Q4 OS operating system than the most recent release. So I figure that since I've got a bunch of these, I'm going to go in and ahead and install one of these and in the process upgrade the operating system. So let's see if I can actually do this. There's enough space to work. I've got the camera on a tripod because people always, always, always complain. You need to use a tripod. So okay, fine, I'm using a tripod now. Most important thing that I need is my screwdriver, which of course is right here, where I can't see it. It's got the right, hopefully the correct tip on it. I believe it looks like there are two screws. Oh, I see how this works. Okay. So these two screws here. Then, if I don't just break everything, this comes out like that. So we got a Hitachi. Looks like a 500 gig. Holy crap! A 500 gigabyte drive, really? Wow. Okay. Well, uh, there's a screw on the side here that needs to be removed. There's only one screw. Because, as it turns out, there isn't actually a caddy on this, which is neat. So all that you need to do is, is that. There's a little peg on the one side, and this is the only thing that needs to come out. So we'll set this hard drive aside. I don't need it right now. Putting it in this way is the correct way. So you got to get that peg in there. And then the screw... goes into place on this side. Pretty straightforward. And in theory... Okay, so I'm hopeful that it's actually in place. It did not seem to really stick. But these screws are going into place, and these screws go straight into the drive itself. So, my assumption is that it's in place. I'm not breaking anything by doing this. Now, I know that the battery is bad. Uh, if you go ahead and have a look here, there's somewhere, right here, there's a battery gauge that's supposed to light up and it doesn't do anything at all, so it doesn't work. And if we go ahead and power it on, can. I'm going to hit F2. Now that I think it's really going to do anything. RTC mode fixed. That's an interesting uh, error message for the time and date being incorrect because the CMOS battery is apparently dead. We got a 1.8 gigahertz Core 2 Duo. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, 40 gigabyte SSD is detected, so that's good. Uh, it claims to be charging the battery, although it says the battery can no longer provide sufficient power to your system and needs to be replaced. So, that's a thing. Um, the date and time is indeed incorrect, so I'm going to go through this and I'm going to set everything up the way that it needs to be set up. And hopefully um, my USB over here will be created and I can uh, go ahead with the OS install. So we can go ahead and save and exit. I'm greatly curious if there is anything on there. Now, I did need to turn on AHCI mode. That was the one thing I definitely wanted to check before doing anything. Oh, it's going to try and do a 4RAM test. Okay, looks like there is nothing bootable on that drive. So I'm just waiting for my USB over here to finish creating itself and we can hopefully install Q4 OS. Hopefully we'll be at faster boots. 
here we go. Q4 OS Live. This is the live install. Well, it's live media because it's got the Plasma desktop, which is what I want to have on this. For no other reason than I've got another system that's going to be running uh, Q4 OS as well, and I'll put the Trinity desktop on that. The other thing I'm going to need to do on this, because this is not the Centrino platform, I think it's got the NVIDIA video on it, actually. But I know it for sure has a Broadcom wireless card, and that's going to be problematic. I can already tell, and I'm sure that this thing is being buffeted by wind noise by that. So, I'm going to give it some time. We'll let it boot to the desktop and see what's going on there. Well, there's a pleasant surprise. A Wi-Fi logo. So it looks like it's actually going to work out of the box, or at least it does on the live media. Still got to wait for it to bring up the uh, desktop, however. That seems to be taking a little bit of time. Well, that's nice. So, I don't know when I'm going to get to actually install the operating system like I want to do. Don't mind if I do. Okay, hit connect. Select your language. English American sounds as good as anything else. Generating system locales. Do 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 do. We are still waiting for a desktop to appear. Plasma, made by KDE. We have a spinning hourglass that has now frozen. Well, that's a great sign. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now, I don't want to deal with any of this because I straight up don't care about it. It's not going to matter. I want this installed. Wow, the DPI on that is just dreadful. But I want this install Q4 OS icon up here at the top because that's what I'm going to do. I've already determined that I'm going to install it anyway. There's nothing else on this hard drive that's worth keeping. All right, so next location I'll pick that up on its own that's cool keyboard uh, this is not a French keyboard although it says French Canada but English Canada over there I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean but the layout looks okay I'm not gonna touch it oh, but I do want this which I think is probably more of a close match to what I've got on here, and we'll call it that. We'll call it good. Uh, erase the disk because you can see it's just got one big long NTFS partition with nothing on it. And we'll just hit next. Uh, we'll put in our details, and I will come back. And well, I couldn't even probably read any of it because the. Uh, the silly thing is decided that the white balance can be, or the exposure value can be way high, even though it shouldn't be. I don't know why it does that. Okay, it says, all done. You may now restart. Yes, don't mind if I do. So we're now out. It's doing some weird text thing. I don't know why it does that. It's supposed to be with new lines, but I guess the new lines don't work or something. I don't know. Pull out the USB. I don't want it. Loading Q4 OS. Perfect. Okay, it's taking this thing an awful long time to get to the boot pro, get through the boot process, and give me a desktop. I would have thought that it would be a lot faster off of an SSD than it would a USB stick, but evidently not. Now that being said, this is a cheap SSD. It's probably basically no better than a USB thumb drive. However, it should have a little bit more bandwidth available. So, I mean, we're getting somewhere. Wireless network card detected. We'll hit OK. Please tell me it's not going to... Alright. So, what do we want? We want a fully featured desktop with KDE Plasma. And we'll hit Install. And we'll see what it will do if it will actually function. Okay, well, it's definitely doing something. Okay, I'm going to give this thing a little bit of credit and a little bit of discredit right now. Number one, uh, the credit, is that this is actually going by pretty quickly. 
what I would expect for an SSD. The discredit is that the progress bar down at the bottom that I don't even know if you can see it on the video. I can just barely see it on the view screen. Once uh, I'm sure that once video compression gets done with it, you won't be able to see that at all. But uh, it's not a progress bar. It's just going back and forth. So I'm wondering really what's the point of including that if it's not even useful in any way. I guess if the system freezes, maybe you'll see that it's stopped, but it's not doing anything with any alignment as to what is actually going on. It's got no bearing in reality, it's just a, it's just a little bar that's filling up. That's all it is. It's kind of pointless, really. Okay, profile applied. Please reboot as soon as possible. Uh, okay, good. But I want to hit finish. And now it's uh, going to reboot the system. Alright, cool. Okay, here we are, back at the desktop once again. Now, I could go to install applications, but I'm not going to. I just bump the camera. Uh, I'm going to not show this dialogue on startup because I shouldn't need it. So we'll get rid of that. And I guess the only other thing that I need to do with this machine is to configure the desktop find a background that I happen to like. I don't know if it's going to have one. Yeah, I don't really I don't really see one in there that I that I happen to like. So I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is going to just find my own. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. There's nothing else I need to share with you. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. If it would actually do what I want. Hope to see you next time. Till then.